Okay, so to begin this video, let's try to familiarize ourselves with this diagram. In the middle of the diagram is the Earth, of course. Half of it is in darkness, half is in sunlight. The yellow dot that you see um, near the uh, lower half is Manila, and the red dot on the dark part is New York. They're on opposite sides of the Earth. And when the animation starts, you would see the Earth start to rotate counterclockwise because that's the motion of the rotation of the earth and also the moon which is on top there will also slowly start to um, uh, revolve around the earth so here goes now it's around 4 p.m. in Manila and as you can see it's approaching darkness it's now 6 p.m. and by this time the moon is quite visible in the skies but it's it's quite bright and full but it's not yet at perigee that yellow line has two purposes it indicates the midnight point it's May 5th now but now it's now May 6th in Manila and the moon is not yet quite at perigee over on the other side of the earth at New York City it's now around 3 p.m. and it's going to be sunset in a little while and now it's about to become morning in Manila. Okay, so sunset at New York City and now they're seeing the full moon and it's actually approaching perigee. So uh, closer to around 10 p.m. people in the United States would actually see the moon at perigee at there and while we in the Philippines we would not be able to see it because we're on the other side of the earth. So I hope this video uh, helped you understand the whole process better of the moon approaching perigee and the moon being at perigee. We're actually viewing the earth and the moon from a vantage point in space as if we were looking down from the top of the earth down. And finally it's important to note that all of the measurements that you see here are exaggerated because if I drew them to scale you won't actually be seeing the differences in the measurements because they would be too small to be noticeable. 